Okay, so as a new software update quickly approaches its release, I usually get the same questions from iPhone users. And the main questions are, of course, how's the performance? Is there any bugs? Is there any performance issues? And I think the number one question is always, how's the battery? Is the battery good? Is it bad? Is it dying quickly? What's happening with the latest OS? So in today's video, I wanted to focus on the next major update coming to the iPhone, iOS 16.4. And I wanted to share with you guys some important details that I believe will help you determine that iOS 16.4 in my opinion is the software that you're going to want to update to and i'm excited to share these details with you guys so let's just dive right into this one now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now some of the bigger changes coming to the software in regards to new features i want to start off with webkit now webkit got one of its biggest updates in a long time and this basically means web push for web apps on ios and iPadOS. this means that any app that you install using the web will now get the same features as apps downloaded from the app store so i think this one's going to be a big one a lot of developers will take advantage of this so you'll get screen time support you'll also get focus mode support you'll get push notifications notification badges with web applications. Now keep in mind, we've been doing this on computers for years, but it's now been updated for the iPhone. And just for an example, I have this application right here, a classic iPod interface. This is a web app, but it behaves and it has all the features integrated as if it was an app store app, as you can see. So now WebKit will update to support that. And I'm happy to report this and it's working like magic. I think you guys are gonna love the new updates to WebKit. Now another great major update coming to iOS 16.4 is a new HomeKit architecture update. This is going to improve reliability, speeds, and connection with your HomeKit devices. This is a big update to the HomeKit in the HomeKit architecture, so I think this one is a big one coming to 16.4 as well. Now, there's also some updates on how we install betas from here on out. This is a big change. Apple was, for the longest time, using profiles to install betas on iPhone, but now you go into general, you go into software updates, and there's a new tab beta update updates right here you can go ahead and sign up with your apple id and select either developer or public beta and you no longer need profiles to install betas on your iphone something that apple has changed that hasn't been changed in years is coming with ios 16.4 there's also a new standalone 5g option as well so 5g is definitely the future of course so if we go into the cell data options here if your carrier supports it you can now use 5g standalone 5g for all your data speeds requirements on your iphone which is something that's new here as well and i also want to talk about the performance and the battery so the one thing that i want to talk about first is bugs and performance now keep in mind guys there's never going to be any software that's going to be perfect there's always going to be minor bugs minor issues and uh, in terms of performance so far the software has performed very well i've been testing 16.4 since beta 1 so it's been a couple of weeks now the beta has evolved to a very stable and solid operating system of course as I mentioned, no software will ever be perfect. There's some minor issues on lock screen where you may get some of the lock screen which is not displaying data properly. But other than that, I haven't encountered any bugs in terms of crashing, resprings, app crashing, or any stutter within the software when I go through swipe through things like the uh, settings here or going to the app switcher and things like that. So everything seems to be working just fine. But the number one question and number one concern is usually battery now iOS 16.4 would soon be released here I want to say in the next week or so we're sitting in beta 4 right now and I think Apple could release this software on the week of the 27th so we may see an RC and then the official release here in the next couple of days but so far the battery on iOS 16.4 has been the best battery performance out of any iOS 16 update and let me go ahead and say that again iOS 16.4 the latest beta has had the best battery performance of any iOS 16 update. So if you're running iOS 15 in fear of battery, this is going to be the one to update to. If you're running iOS 16.1, 16.2, and your fear of battery, so far the battery has been the best for me on multiple devices. Now keep in mind, the battery and how long the battery lasts on your iPhone is always going to depend on how you use your device, but I've been using my devices as normal as I usually do every day, every time I test my devices, and I've seen the best results so far with iOS 16.4. And I wanna emphasize that again, not only on iOS 16.4, but iOS 16 in general. iOS 16.4 has been the best performance in terms of batteries so far. So if that's one of your fears, I recommend 
then you update to iOS 16.4 once it is available to the general public. Of course, I'll continue testing the software. I'll let you guys know once it is officially released, but I wanted to share those important details and I'm happy to share that finally I feel like the battery for the iPhone on iOS 16 is a par to what it was before iOS 16 or maybe even better. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoy this information and this video. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one.